Good morning, everyone. We are at a new place, the Winscott Reservoir in Lincoln, Rhode Island. We got a lot more rain this week, so hopefully we won't run into flooded areas. It's a little chilly, but at least it's sunny out today. We're at the beginning and there is some flooded trails. Oh gosh, I'm so happy the sun is out. That wind is cold. Ah. Ooh, this is nice. Somebody brought out a nice cozy chair to sit here and enjoy the water. Oh gosh, it's such a blessing to have sunshine today. I to enjoy it. When we have it, certain spots, we are hearing some traffic. But these are nice woodland trails. Right, those are common regansers. They just took off when we got here. Nice big reservoir. So that's the traffic we're hearing. It's not too bad. Yikes, this wind is really strong. We're now entering another park called the Governor Knot Park. So there's a little boardwalk here. No, oh, it's not little, it keeps going and going. Lots of skunk cabbage growing. Here's a close look of the skunk cabbage. This is a wetland plant and it does smell like a skunk. Garlic mustard, this is a very invasive plant. This part of the trail is paved. Big, tall, white pine trees. There's a beach area. Gonna be swimming this time of year. It's too cold. I didn't realize that this trail system brought us into North Providence, Rhode Island. Here, the Cardinal. So now we're going back into woodland trails. I'm not a fan of paved trails. Ooh, I love it. We're coming out of the woodland area. This is another parking lot. I like these old stone bridges. A little busy park down this area. Meehan Overlook. We decided to circle back around so we weren't walking up by Route 7. So this is another trail. Like I said, I'd rather be in the woodlands than on a paved trail. All right, let's head down to the West River Trail. There's been some big woodpecker activity right here. We did see the red-bellied woodpecker, so I'm not sure if that's from them. That is a big hole here in the Carolina Wren. Love that sound. A little muddy in this section. Coming to the end of this trail, this is the West River, different than the one in Uxbridge. Oh boy, let's see. Do I want to walk across that? The trail really ends only up there. All right, Chris thinks we can do this. <laughs> I don't know about this, Chris. Is it safe? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I want to do it. Come on. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. Ah, it's shaking. Come on. Just stand there. That's 100% soft. Oh, boy. This is, this is really testing my limits. I need you to come a little closer. <laughs> People are going to think I'm a big wimp here on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna come fast. One, two, three. All right, I did it. Woo! <laughs> How silly that I'm nervous to go across something like that. Hi, everybody. This is a massive tree that came down. Holy cow. a 
nice little workout here. Ooh. We have to go back across this bridge. Let's see if I can do this by myself. Oh boy. Can you believe how wimpy I am about a little thing like this? Oh my gosh, a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Silly nature's fairy. I love the sound of the beech tree leaves. The leaves stay on all winter. Soon new leaves will come. We took this side shoot and there were seven deer that bolted. Oh wow, it's nice to see them even though I didn't get a video. This is either majorly flooded from the rain or probably a beaver dam is up a ways. First buds we found on a tree, I think that's from an oak tree. This place is loaded with oaks, so yeah. What type of oak, I don't know. We've been seeing a bunch of robins in the woodlands. Hello, Robin Red Nest. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching, everybody. <laughs> it's always fun finding new places to walk through the All Trails app. So we really enjoy coming to the Winscott Reservoir, which brought us over to the Governor Knot Park and then out to the West River Loop Trail. So there were a few tricky spots for me with some of the boardwalks, and I know I sounded probably so nervous going across something like that but I do have a balance issue and when I get on stuff like that I feel like I'm gonna fall in but I made it across I was proud of myself and I had to do it two times so if you're ever in the area check out this great place it was 4.3 miles so we had a great time have a wonderful day everybody see you next time